birthday may be over, but the celebration continues at Riverview Gardens. And that's where we find Pauline this morning. Hi, Pauline. Well, good morning, everyone. If you want to come out and volunteer, get your hands dirty in some dirt, plant some trees. We've got all sorts of things going on here, right, Oren? Yes, we do. Um, this time of year is pretty busy. We're planting pretty much every day. We'll be planting trees um, all through May uh, and planting out in the field and in our greenhouses right into June. Uh, this is a beautiful place. <laughs> we have a, a large park space and we have mm -hmm. daily volunteer activities uh, Monday through Saturday every single week. And you were telling me about the service works program. Yeah, so our, our primary social mission here and really the mm -hmm. purpose for Riverview Gardens is our service works uh, community engagement and job training program. So this is for individuals who are experiencing homelessness or other aspects of poverty in the community to come and engage in purposeful activity and then to take advantage of uh, the resources of our organization to provide transferable work skills development, references, positive community engagement, and even uh, in our best cases, direct placement into living wage employment so that people can really um, become successful in the community. So one of the things they can do is has to do with beekeeping. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so our service works members come and participate in every aspect of running this farm and park space in our community center. Uh, and so that ranges from the, the transplanting of tomatoes and planting vegetables in the field and hoop houses through to beekeeping. Yeah, what would they do in beekeeping? Um, so we have uh, one of the one of only two or well, now three urban apiaries here in Appleton. Uh -huh. uh, we have one hive currently and we'll be actually installing 10 new hives um, in the next two weeks. Uh, so this is actually a box. Um, as we go into the springtime, there's a period called the dearth. Um, and so our service works members will help monitor the hives and know that period of time after the trees have started to finish blooming, but before we get the clovers and other major blooms in the summer, mm -hmm. we'll take some of these frames from last summer oh, that, are, that are filled with honey and we'll give these back to the hives so that they have a nutritious source of food that the bees before them have created in order to make it through that dearth into the summertime while start, they will start producing honey again that will go into our CSA program towards the end of the year. You were telling me it's kind of a lot of work to do bee tending or beekeeping. Yes, it is. And in <laughs> fact, we really decided to engage in agriculture here at Riverview because it creates unlimited work for us to engage people in. So the purposeful activity available in, in bee husbandry and all the other agricultural activities set the stage for us to engage people in positive social interaction, working side by side, mm -hmm. learning those personal and interpersonal or transferable work skills that are necessary to be successful in any work environment. So if you wanna, people wanna sign up for volunteering or the, uh, the service works program, how do they do that? Um, for service works, they can call us or send an email or show up any day and we'll do an orientation right there and, and get someone on board. We do a standard volunteer orientation for anybody else interested in, in working with us every Saturday at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, we also have occasional weekday orientations for people who can't make the Saturday morning. Um, and you can find all that information on the calendar on our website at riverviewgardens.org. And we have a link to that website on our website, fox11online.com. Stay tuned. We're going to go out and plant some trees. Arbor Day was just yesterday. So we're just going to go plant out some trees and celebrate more. Sounds good. Thanks, Pauline.